I'm John K. Coyle, and welcome to Beyond the Podium. This is episode 12. Today we're going to talk about some more, I guess, uh, uh, somebody once called me the Forrest Gump of the Olympics. I'm not sure how that happened, but I guess it is true. I have been around for a number of interesting stories and episodes, Tanya Harding, Katarina Vitt. Tonight we're actually going to talk about Johnny Weir, who's all over the TV right now because figure skating is on. Uh, I've met Johnny on uh, multiple occasions, uh, and, and actually he's a very personal, personable guy. But the first time I met him was, was quite striking. It was in Vancouver uh, at the Olympics. Uh, my second or third day, they have these, these houses called, they just call them houses, but there's the P&G house, Procter & Gamble house, there's the Visa house, there's the USA house, the Canada house. These are gathering places for friends and family to relax, uh, primarily for athletes, um, but they, they also let in uh, Olympians from prior years. And so I was in the line for the P&G house, I think it's my second day in Vancouver, and Johnny Weir happened to be in front of me, and I recognized him. So I said hello, he said hello, and then we waited in line to go up and get credentialed. So somebody typed some stuff from a computer, and then they have you look into a camera, and they make a printout of your photo. So this seemed very straightforward. Uh, Johnny goes up, he takes his photo, I noticed his head was cocked. As soon as they took the photo, she said, okay, I'm gonna print you. He's like, wait, 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 let me, let me look. He runs around behind the uh, computer, takes a look at the phone, and that's not gonna do, that's not gonna do. Let me do it again, let me do it again. He runs back out, take, turns his head the other way, takes a photo, runs back behind the computer. No, 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 that's no good, that's no good. I was sure that try three would be the final one, but it wasn't. Try four, and then try five. At some point, I was, torn between bemusement and slight irritation, but at the end of the day, it was pretty funny, and he eventually got his credential and off he went. So that was the first time I met him. I've spent uh, some time with him um, and uh, Tara in, uh, in Sochi. So uh, that's the quick story for today. I will say that these houses are really great places to meet people. They're super hard to get in if you're not a, a present Olympian or at least a, a former athlete. Um, but that's where all the athletes are and you get to meet their families and, and hang out with them. So I'm looking forward to getting there. I leave in less than 48 hours and I'll be spending time at the USA house, the PNG house and others and doing uh, live interviews with uh, hopefully a bunch of the athletes about how they perceive time. So episode 13 is actually going to come up in about five or 10 minutes because it just seems timely that I must talk about yet another interesting face from the games, Stephen Bradbury. So tune in for that. Share this with your friends. Uh, like this page on Facebook if you want to see more of these, and you can catch them live. And I am also posting to YouTube. You can find them there. All right, until next time, see you in a few minutes.